Welcome back to Metroid Prime! New toys! Uh, uh, new toys! Uh, uh. Last time we got ourselves a new toy! We got the Ice Beam! Now we gotta go do things with it. I like doing things. Oh, yes. You gotta take it to a place, do a thing, and get something. Take it to the fridge! And do stuff. We gotta go, uh. <clears throat> we gotta go all the way to Fendrana Drifts. Awesome! You love it. It's great. And the fastest way to do that is for Magmore Caverns, and the fastest way to do that is to go through Talon Overworld. Yes. Uh, oh, my dude! Yeah, yeah. But, I will show you something kind of neat. So you come down here, uh, you, uh, you need the Ice Beam, of course, to go through here. Mm -hmm. And this is the way to, uh, Talon Overworld South. This takes you to the, uh, the wrecked pirate ship. Oh, or the direct frigate, I, I guess. Frigate. Oh, okay. These are hurdy weeds. Herdy and weeds. missile expansion! Hooray! Hey! It's part of the reason why we're going this way. Cannot have enough missiles. Well, you, the only enough is all of them. But then we need more. Metroid Prime Two, please. So overlooking here. This is a one-way zone. Oh, check this out. Oh, Dead. I love it. Easy. Easy every time. Yep, just... Boop, and... Oh, wait, 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 oh, and, oh wait, I, wait, I can wait. see her eyes. Oh, dead. There. This is a one-way... Uh, a one-way track. Like, you, if you go on the waterfall... You go, you, you go down here, there's no way to get back up. Okay. It is a one-way track. But that's okay, because we, we want to be down here. Okay, neat. Because we have to get down here. Surprised you're not freezing the water and making little ice cubes as you're strolling along. I don't think it quite works like that. I mean, you got some chilliness on the outside. I mean, you fire a freezing cold beam, sure, but there might be too much of a temperature difference, and it might just, you know, just reach room temperature water. And you bring in science into this. I'm trying to. Okay. It's ke chemistry, but, you know. Chemistry, excuse me. I mean, you, you throw a... Uh, you throw a cup of freezing liquid nitrogen into a, you know, a, a lake like that, I think it just might create some smoke as it dis as it dissolves. And that's it, yeah. Is that what Samus is doing? Is she, is she just firing nitrogen at people? How cruel. That's how they're able to freeze so quickly. It would explain the intense cold. Oh my god! Oh, ooh. Oh my god! Wow, yeah, alright. Stop by the ship. Never seen out of the ship. She's wasting a lot of power just letting it run like that, though. It runs on plutonium. One brick equals 30 years. And then again, you can clear this whole game in about 10 hours, though, so I guess she's not gone that long. Have you checked any speedruns on this game? I know, uh, chances are there's a lot of sequence breaking. Oh, d oh, definitely. Let me go ahead and check speedrun.org, because we're just making our way back to Fendron at this point. And while you're looking that up, I want to bring up a special detail. The arm cannon. Yeah. Switching between the beams. Mm hmm Samus only has to change fingers in order to change which beam she's on. That's essentially like, what those mean. I mean, they're color-coded to help you out better, but... Like, right now, she's doing the Spider-Man thing, but upside down. I was like, well, yeah. But then if you wanted the regular... Uh, the regular beam, I think it's just ring finger down. But if you want wave beam, it's just... Like, actual waving. Like, hi! So, the last beam is kind of like this, where the three fingers are kind of group up, grouped up together, oh, so... I can, I can barely do that myself. Yeah, so... Eh. Now, for the visors, she has to, like, half blink, full blink. You know, like, rapid blink. I think that might be just to change it, not so much to fire it. Like, you know, uh... Oh, that makes hold, sense. Hold her hand out. Okay, uh, let's go, uh, let's go power beam. Ring finger down, and then she fires at that. Oh, then yeah, they turned, they turned cold. All right, ice beam. And then, uh, middle and ring finger down. That would make a lot more sense, because, man, your hand would get tired. And cramping up. God, imagine a hand cramp in the arm cannon, and you can't, just can't get it. All right, Metroid Prime at speedrun.com. I'm gonna guess an hour and a half. All right, any percent. I think they're going by uh, in-game time. Hmm. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. For 100%, 
that's an hour and six minutes. 21%, which I assume is the lowest percentage you can do, whoa, whoa, an hour whoa, and 43. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you telling me 100% is only like 20 minutes longer than the any percent? I'm going to have to check that out. Because I know there's a way to, you know, do some clever jumping to get the space jump early, which whoa. helps a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> helps a lot. Yeah. Okay, seeing the use of the ice beam early. Ice beam kind of helps when you're going through magmore caverns. Kind of, definitely does. Surprisingly, throwing liquid nitrogen at everything, no matter how hot it is, causes an instant freeze. Of course, this is only if you want to be safe and careful, and uh, I'm, I don't have... Screw it! I don't have the time for that always! It's too bad you can't shoot ice into the magma and make platforms. Just completely ruin science. Yeah, that's for Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> you listening, game devs? I'm not saying you have to redo the entire thing again. Just do that. I have a theory that uh, Nintendo is not quite sure what to do with Metroid Prime. Or even what to do with Metroid as a whole. Because they have had to outsource both 2D and 3D Metroids all the time. As long as somebody's doing it right. Metroid Prime, outsourced to Retro Studios. Metroid Other M, outsourced to Tecmo Koei. Uh, Samus Returns and Metroid Dread, outsourced to Mercury Steam. They don't do it in-house. They cannot make a Metroid game in-house, because when they do, it turns out to be Metroid, Metroid Prime Fe Federa Hunters. Federation Forces. Oh, yeah. I think that was next level games. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Before the acquisition, I think, but oh, okay. still. That's a, that's a second-party developer there. N Nintendo saw, wow, Federation Force did great. We're going to buy you guys. I, I think they saw Luigi's Mansion did great, and then they said, we'll buy you guys. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion's great. Yeah. Two and three are great. I only played one all the way through. It's kind of lost it with two. I don't know. It's, uh... eh. it's a different animal from the first one. It is. Mission-based is always odd. I just like, want to explore the, 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 the hotel. It's like, oh, nope. Now that you've gone down this, down this staircase, come on back. It's like, no! I want to come back. I want to go. <sighs> ah, whatever. Oh, that's Luigi's Mansion. That's a whole other beast. Let's talk about Federation Force, then. Nah, that's a whole other beast. It's a whole zoo, the Metroid, the Metroid series here. Didn't Nintendo also do... Uh, hunters? Yes, they did. And look at that. A new beast. That's, that's also another beast, yeah. But it's varied, at least. We can go this way now because we have the ice beam. Ooh. We, we have finally reached our destination. New stuff is ahead. Oh, I thought that was what the new region was called. New stuff. <laughs> oh, yes. The new stuff region of Fendrana. <laughs> Wow, look at all the new stuff! Samus has been seen in new stuff. Not new stuff! Deploy all our troops to new stuff! When you get to the, uh, the more decaying part of the area, it's, uh, oh, we, we found her in old junk. Retreat! All personnel, fall back to same crap! <laughs> So this is the way back into the research center, and we don't need to go in there. Please don't. No, we don't. It's, we, we, we could, but we, we don't need to. No, uh, we, we, we can't go down. We found a new though. region. We got new stuff. It's all great. Oh, and uh, ew. Why? This is a gel zap. Or a pazlege. <laughs> or a zel laps. Zelda. The top of the aquatic food chain. Well, guess who's in the water now? <laughs> when they open their mouths, they're they're weak. But when they open their mouths, it disrupts your visor, and it's really annoying to get through these water sections like that. That's what we're getting next, actually. A swimsuit. Mm-hmm. A swimsuit. Finally. For us to swim in. Oh no, it's not a bathing suit, it's a swimsuit. It's like a suit-and-tie pinstripe suit that you swim in. 
It is a swimsuit. I was just thinking it's a it's a whole one piece, except it's like a Kigurumi. It's a hydrophobic uh, material, so it won't yeah. get wet. Yeah. Perfect. For the space adventurer in you, buy today. Get your new uh, wet resistant suit. Get uh, your new wet resistant swimsuit. Only one baby Metroid hatchling. <laughs> and, <laughs> limited time offer. Packed now before supplies run out. Come on. <laughs> Wait, somebody bought it? Yes. Where's the Stole it? What? Where's the hatchling? Where's the hatchling? Show it to me. It's a, it's a, it's a wonder egg, sir. We've been duped! What do we do with the egg, sir? Give it to me! Mm. That was stew in my defeat. <laughs> in the meantime, make another swimsuit. I'm sure somebody will buy it. We're gonna have to come back here later. Oh man, don't tease me like this. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> It begins. They're evolving. The evil, nasty phase on Metroids are evolving. Oh. <laughs> so this is how we get a DS sequel to Metroid Prime. Dang out of here. They die just about the same as uh, regular Metroids do, except they don't latch onto you. They kind of just hurt. They Ultimately just... doing more damage, I'd say. Like, ah! Oh, so close. <laughs> they just throw tantrums at you, if anything. <laughs> they are unruly teenagers, basically. It's like, I yeah. want to suck them to get alive! I want to beat the crap out of them! Down with God. the system! Ah, save. Another nice little save here. Yes. Yes, slot A, please. Thank you. There is no slot B here. <laughs> Hands up if you're a slot A person. Oh, right, oh, right, right here, baby. Right here. Believe it or not, if you choose slot A every time, you're a raving psychopath. <laughs> right here, baby. <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here. Now, big question. Yeah. What slot were you in the Dreamcast? Are you a regular A1 vanilla kind of guy? Or do you mix it up and go with C2? See, I never had a Dreamcast. Third port, second slot. Wait, really? Uh, yeah, yeah, there's some Dreamcast games that uh, check all four ports to see if there's a VMU in Dude. each of them. Dude! So you went controller port 3, slot 2 for the VMU. Dude, I have... You know, this is, of course, long after the Dreamcast was, you know, viable. Pretty recently, like about 10 years ago. I got a VMU that's actually four VMUs. Pardon. There's a little switch on it. <gasps> you can switch between four different VMUs in one VMU. Think of all the chows, dude. Think of the half dozen of wrestlers I could create. <gasps> the wrestlers! <laughs> yes! This is why the Dreamcast will live forever. I miss my Dreamcast. Do you still have your old one? It's just in the closet saying, I miss you. And I'm just I looking miss, back like, I miss you too. I miss you. <laughs> Wanna play some Jet Set Radio? I have it on Steam, I'm good. Wanna play some Sonic Adventure? No, yeah, no, it's, a, it's fine, it's fine. Gotta, 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 gotta. Wanna play some Evolution, the world of sacred device? Not no. right, not right now, no. No. You know, it, you know, Dreamcast is old enough, you can give it a stern no. Wanna play some Shenmue? <laughs> I have it on PS4, I'm good. No, you're not good. Like, you say you're fine, but you're not really fine. That was an impulse buy if I ever made one. I think we've all had those. I mean, have you seen the crap around this game room? There's so much garbage. Look at all the garbage. Oh, God, look at all the garbage. I can come in with the trash bag if you want. No, because it'll be expensive one day. Uh, some of the stuff, yeah. Some of the stuff, not all the stuff. I have a feeling that uh, the moment I bought it, it, like, plummeted in value. I don't know how long that Galgun 2 uh, Special Edition is gonna be, uh, viable. You or... kidding? Nobody bought that shit! It's worth millions, I tell you! Uh, in, in which Bitcoin are you talking about? <laughs> it's worth a million leaves outside, <laughs> my, outside my door. It's in the new Weeb coin! Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm rich! How much does Weebcoin uh, translate to? Let's see, I got uh, 3.5 billion, so uh, I got a buck fifty. What, the Weebs spent all their money on all the DVDs? DVDs, oh uh, my god, I am old. Yeah, a buck fifty, uh, that is, uh, that is uh, uh, in yen, so really you only have uh, 15 cents. Well, UDJ, did you know that yen's not a lot of money? Neither is Bitcoin, because it's not real money! <laughs> Looky here! It's an Aqua Reaper! Ooh. It reaps aquas, that, I guess. What? Just, just a nice slimy tentacle that fucks you up in the water. It's kind of stupid. I mean, it sounds cool. It just kind of vines there and hope, hopefully food will come. Why does everything on this planet... Why are they just so nonchalant about the food scarcity? I think the phase on is uh, making these things a bit more aggressive. So I think that's kind of hastening their rise in the food chain. I see. It's like, this predator used to have small sharp claws on its fingers. Now it has gigantic mandrels on its fucking, on its fucking, uh, cheeks. And it's got claws about the size of, uh, of, of, of sabers. Like, if I was that meh about food, like, just saying, oh, food will show up eventually. I'd be dead. Well, you're not a filter feeder. That's true. Well, neither are the rocks. Uh, the rock toads. They do that, the- What Whoa. the hell? There it is. Swimsuit! Hell yeah! Time to be purple for the rest of the game! Give me that perp! Let's go! Magical girl transformation into swimsuit! <laughs> Moon gravity power! <laughs> Fighting Metroids by moonlight. <laughs> Fighting more by right, daylight. daylight. Never running from a fight. She is the one called Samus. Ran. <laughs> it's kind of like you kind of, kind of sneak it in there. And you, you miss the A, so it's like Samus. I ran. I'm good with uh, with an unresolved chord. She is the one, Samus. Dot. Dot. No. Nah. No. Not nah, even nah. ellipsis. Doesn't resolve. <laughs> That's when your dad came in and turned the TV off. It's like, no, Dad, wait! <laughs> oh, haven't you watched it? <laughs> Sailor Moon shit. <laughs> that sissy Metroid crap. <laughs> My boy ain't gonna be watching no woman destroy Metroids. He's one of the writers for Other M, it sounds like. <laughs> First draft. So then she broke down and started crying. <laughs> oh, God, I hate it. Ah! No, 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 no. That's that, that that will not do. She has to brood and then break down and start ah, crying. True. Well, anyway, back to the good game. Uh, gravity suit makes you move around in the water freely as if you were on land, just that, like it normally does in the games. That's lo oh god, we're getting some interference. It also increases your defense. Oh, that's good. Like a little bit. I think that's what all the suits do anyway. A little less damage. Always, always lovely. But now the enemies are gonna get harder. Like they always do. You know, every time we bring up Other M, I, I try to picture what type of person would write the script in that. And I have a feeling it's the same type of person that would write hellacious cock in uh, in a young woman's uh, fantasy novel. I don't know what went wrong with Other M. Because the guy who wrote it is the same guy who makes these Metroid games. Did he, like, completely misunderstand his own- his own creation? Did I- did I ever tell you that, uh, one of the hostesses at work, you know, it gets boring, so she was reading a book. And, uh, you wouldn't tell by the cover, but she was reading Smut. Just- just right out in the open. Well, I mean, yeah. Why hide it? I- I mean, she was, like, reading it, and I was like, well... It's... What kind of- what kind of smut? I mean... It was a, uh, young lady's fantasy. Basically, uh, a, uh, young woman, probably in teen years, gets transported to a magical world filled with all sorts of amazing and muscular creatures. I believe that was on the blurb in the back that I read. <laughs> I was like, hmm. Yeah. All yeah. right. <clears throat> muscular, you said. <laughs> No, don't, it's for 13 and up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm up! I'm up! 
<laughs> I'm the up part of 13. And God, up. what's worse than young adult smut? <laughs> oh, God. Because it means it obviously can't be anything too uh, pornographic. No, it, it's not. <laughs> Like, reading the back, I was like, huh, is this, uh, is... And then I looked up the ISBN, and I was like, oh! <laughs> All right! That's fine. The, the ISBN, I can imagine, she's, she's reading, and you're like... All right, 21-700-009. Eight, eight, well, I mean, she actually, like, showed it to me, and I was like, oh, what's, what's oh. this? And didn't say anything. <laughs> so then I started reading, I was like, hmm. All right. <laughs> We're kind of done for the day, so I'm just- I gotta make our way back again through Magmar. Magmar? Magmor. Magmar! Honestly, that'd be- that'd be a neat crossover. The original butthead of the Pokémon series. They evolved into some weird snake-like creatures. We call them Magmoors. Magmoors. Maybe they're primordial Magmars. Hmm. Oh, you know, now that Scarlet and Violet are doing the past and future thing, we might get a Magmore. <gasps> Whoa! We could get a mag less. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, we call that Magby. The Magby. Yeah, Magby. Magby. Magby terrible! Oh! <laughs> that was a sick burn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you might need an entire war zone to take me down. You need a mag mortar. Ah! See, it's like a fire type with a cold. It's a sick burn. <laughs> Somebody got poisoned? Oh no! <laughs> Pokemon humor's the best. If you want something that's not quite least common denominator, go for Pokemon humor. You see, Pokemon jokes are like the move Swift. They never miss. And deal 20 damage. And deal 20 damage. <laughs> <laughs> God, it just makes me realize how complicated Pokemon games are. Like, I had just recently found out that Seismic Toss's damage is equal to your level. Oh, really? No wonder it never did any damage on my level 20 Machop. God. What damage is by your level? Like, if I do it to a level 1... Like, sure if you're a level 20 that attacks a level 1, you're dealing 20 damage. That's why in... Oh! That's... Dumb. Yeah. So it's so interesting to have, like, a, fighting a level 55, and then all of a sudden you're down 55 damage, except you thought ahead and brought a Snorlax and or a Blissey, which are literally just hit points incarnate. They're living sponges. Or a Whale Lord. Blissey, the sponge Pokémon! God, I remember actually taking Blissey into a battle, and it was a one-hit KO, so I just had to sit there and watch the life bar go all the way down. It was a good 15 seconds before it finally kicked the bucket. I thought you were going to say 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, knowing Blissey is the tank. See, look at these, look at these uh, evil flowers. You can tell this goes to Talon Overworld without looking at the scanner. I'm glad there are visual cues. This is probably why I got lost so much. I never picked up on the visual cues. It is it is complicated. Out of all the Prime games, this is like the most, you know, open-ended because Prime Hunters is just like three planets. Hmm. Uh, um, uh, Prime 2 is just three areas in one map, basically. Is that including the Dark World? Uh, yeah, it's, it's interwoven. I mean, it's complicated enough. Mm -hmm. you, have a, you have a map like this and a Dark World, there, there'd be no way. <laughs> it's like, okay, the only way to get through the Magmor Dark World is to go through Fendrana and the Light World and then make a pass through the Talon Overworld Elevator in the Dark World, and then, once you have the Plasma Beam, you can go through here and it's, it's, it's... I'm just imagining a space pirate wearing a fake mustache is like, yeah, to get to Dark World, Magmor, you need to jump in the lava and just stay there. <laughs> Got her, Ridley! It's a good thing that gravity suit didn't make her smarter. Otherwise... What do you mean she didn't fall for it? Well, she is a blonde, so... <laughs> that's terrible. That's awful. <laughs> and that's why the space pirates get killed all the time. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> that's why the space pirates get killed all the time. It's like, there's no way... <laughs> she can't find us. She's a blonde! I always find you guys. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just saying, if I if I tried that, it's like... Yeah, Samus can't do anything. She's a dumb blonde as she's cocking her... her, uh... her blaster right in my face. I'm like, what? 
Oh, she's also part bird, part Metroid, part human, part... <laughs> God. She can't do anything. <laughs> she, she gets the arm blaster ready. And just... Any last word? <laughs> Man, this is great writing for other M you're doing. <laughs> is this stuff that didn't make it into the game? This is like oh my god, deleted D content, D DLC. Wow, so many years after the fact. Wow. God, I hate other M so much. <laughs> but it's so fa it's so car crash fascinating. Oh god. Oh, <sighs> I'm glad we got the gravity suit to make way for a lovely commentary about how Samus doesn't think. She just shoot. Well. Next time oh, on Metroid Prime. Don't shoot me, Samus. We gotta go to someplace nasty. Ooh. See you then. Ew.